How Mexica Works Chapter 2 Dictionary of Story Actions and the File of Previous Stories This chapter is divided in five sections Properties of a Story Action Emotional Links Tensions or Conflicts Definition of a Story Action and Previous Stories this is the general structure of Mexica as we saw in previous chapters. Now we are going to go into details. Properties of a story action. The design of the system is based on structures known as story actions. All story actions have a name. The name can be one verb like helped, ran away, can be two verbs like followed and found or it can be more elaborated strings like waited for a while and at the right moment attacked. Story actions must specify the number of characters that participate in the deed. At this point characters are represented as variables that will be instantiated by concrete actors during the development of the tale. An action can have one character, two characters, or three characters. The story actions have associated a set of preconditions which are optional and a group of postconditions which are enforced. There are two types of possible preconditions and postconditions in Mexica. Emotional links between characters and conflicts or tensions between characters. Let's talk about emotional links. For practical reasons, all types of emotions are implemented in discrete terms with a value in the range of minus 3, 2 plus, Three. In other words, in Mexica, emotions have a positive, negative or neutral balance and an intensity that goes from zero to three. Mexica deals with different types of emotional links. In this chapter, I will only mention two of them for reasons of clarity. Type 1 represents a continuum between love, brotherly love, and hate. Type 2 represents a continuum between being in love with amorous love and feeling hatred towards. This is an example of an emotional link of type 1. The Jaguar Knight hates the enemy. I also use graphic representation of the emotional links. In this case, we have a solid arrow representing type 1 and on top of it we have the balance and the intensity of the motion in this case minus 3 this is an example of an emotional link of type 2 the princess loves jaguar knight and jaguar knight loves the princess type 2 is represented with a dashed arrow now, let's see an example of an emotional link working as a precondition. If we have the action A wants B, the precondition will be that A hates B. That is, character A has an emotional link of type 1 and intensity minus 3 towards character B. Now, let's see an example of, of an emotional link as a post condition. For the action character A falls in love with character B, the consequence is that A develops an emotional link towards B of type 2 and intensity plus 3. Tensions or conflicts. The current version of the program divides tensions in three groups. Group 1 are tensions which are triggered by post conditions.
group two are tensions which are deactivated by post conditions and group three are tensions triggered automatically let's talk about group one in Mexica it is assumed that a tension in a short story arises when a character is murdered when the life of a character is at risk when the health of a character is at risk for example when a character has been wounded and when a character is made a prisoner notice that each tension has associated a mnemonic to identify it here is an example if we have the action a wounds b the consequence of that action will be that the tension the health of b is at risk becomes active also i have a graphic representation of tensions in this case it is a zigzag arrow with a mnemonic representing the tension on top of it. Now let's talk about group two. Tensions can be deactivated through post condition. For example, if we have the actions C cures B, the consequences of that action is that the tension held at risk is deactivated. That is, character B is healthy again. We can make the post condition of this action more interesting, more elaborated, including an emotional link. For example, that B is very grateful towards C. So, let's imagine that character A has an accident. As a result, the tension held at risk is activated. Next, let's imagine the character B heals character A. As a result, the tension held at risk is deactivated and the emotional link A is very grateful towards B is triggered. Group 3. There is a group of three tension known as inferred tensions. Their main characteristic is that the system automatically triggers this type of tension. The first is clashing emotions. Clashing emotions are triggered when a character establishes two oppositive emotional links towards other character. That is, character A hates and loves at the same time character B. Love competition is triggered when two different characters are in love with a third one. And potential danger is triggered when a character hates another character and both are located in the same place. This is an example of a tension of love competition between the knight and the Tlatuani or king of the Mexicas. Each tension in Mexica has associated a value. The structure, tensional representation, records the different values of the tension over time. In this way, we can have graphics that shows the behavior of the tension through the whole story. This is an important characteristic because in Mexica, a story is considered interesting when it includes increments and decrements of the tension. Definition of a story action. A story action is defined by several sections. The first is the name of the story action and the number of characters participating in it. Then we have the list of preconditions, the list of post conditions, and finally we have what I call alternative texts. They are texts that the user defines in order to make more accessible for the reader the sequence of actions that Mexica produce. These alternative texts can be written in English 
or in Spanish, that is, the system is bilingual. There are also two post conditions that I haven't mentioned before. One is linked characters and the other is change of position. Linked characters represent family or friends of the characters in the story. In Mexica, one character is linked to another when there is an emotional link of any type and intensity plus two or plus three from one to the other. Linked characters can also have emotional responses to the action of other characters. For example, for the action A cure B, we have as post condition that B is very grateful towards A and all friends and family of character B also are very grateful towards A. The system allows to move the characters around the story world as part of the post conditions. Mexica has nine different possible locations. In this way, now we have a full declaration of story action, including linked characters. The user must define all the actions that the system will employ during the generation of new tales. As I will explain in future videos, preconditions and postconditions represent common sense knowledge and cultural and social values. So they are very important in order to test different scenarios within Mexica. Previous stories. In Mexica, a story is defined as a sequence of story actions that are coherent, interesting, and novel. The idea of the file of previous stories is to gather many of these sequences in order to provide the system with common sense knowledge, knowledge about the culture that is represented by those previous stories, and also technical information about narratives. Remember that these previous stories are built, are written by human beings. Therefore, they have tacit social knowledge. This is the end of chapter two. Please go ahead to chapter three.